Thanksgiving cogitation. Enjoy a few shots from the last few weeks in the Mississippi Delta. They show many of the things I'm thankful for. Landscapes unparalleled in art, sunsets without peer, and folks from all over the world who pop into our lives and become lifelong friends. You know it's funny as a Christian, though a compromised one, but ain't many of us due to the nature of the beast and all. I rarely share my faith due to my being hypocritical and all that encompasses. But today I think I shall, with thankfulness. Paul Williams Bible School instructor Jack Carter said, the hallmark of a Christian should be thankfulness. I never really got it at the time, but I think I'm beginning to. I am a firm believer in the creation account of, well, creation of the world. Intelligent design is aptly named regarding causation. I can scarcely look at anything and not see design in order, both individually expressed and every wonder I see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. Reckon that covers most of the senses. Where many folks see man's great accomplishments in science, technology, medicine, etc., though seemingly not in human behavior, I see a God who has gifted the many with common grace to accomplish wonderful things. When I slow down and observe, when I take time to notice, when I allow myself to see others through empathetic eyes rarely exercised, I witness a world awash in goodness, evil, angst, pain, sorrow, and joy, a broad range of human emotions. The rub for most of us is being thankful when things are right. I struggle with this big time. God said to be thankful in all situations, yet I so often am not. But when I am, and when I try with his help to thank him, regardless of the circumstances, I begin to look at bad situations differently. If I can find joy in sorrow, then sorrow has no hold over me. If I really believe that God created this world, that he keeps it spinning, that he loves everybody regardless of his or her station in life or behavior, and that he has plans for everybody's life. And I do believe this, in thought but too rarely action, then I need to trust him in the difficult times. In hindsight, I cannot recollect one egregious life event in my life, whether brought on by me or others, that I did not learn something important or experience growth personally, professionally, and spiritually. If God is who he says he is, and I believe he is, then he is worthy of my trust. Thank you, Lord. You are good all the time.